Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the Hammer Editor tutorial is I, John Z. And uh, this is going to be a really quick tutorial on uh, finding out if your map has leaks, which are um, is, is no, which is a problem caused by uh, your map not being completely sealed off from this dark void out here. And this uh, I'm inspired to do this by a compile log that I saw recently. Um, somebody on YouTube had messaged me and asked me to take a look at his log um, that there was a problem with his map. Although the problem that I found was not related to what we're going to talk about, it did have a leak error in his compile log and I imagine, as I know when I was just starting out mapping, it happened to me a lot, that a lot of people who are beginning to map will often get this error um, and it may not be explained what it is or why it's important to fix it, which is why I'm here, apparently. So a leak, uh, like I explained, happens when you have some kind of hole in your map that separates this inside area from this outside area. If you have a hole, then the compiler doesn't know which side is which, doesn't know which side is inside, which side is outside. So when it goes to divide the level up into these partitions that I called viz leaves, which were covered in somewhat, um, somewhat tiny, small detail in uh, tutorial number six, I believe. Um, when it goes to divide that level up in those viz leaves, it will also think, okay, well, I also have to divide up infinity in the viz leaves, which is kind of impossible, so it just doesn't even try. The, uh, the program that divides up your map will not even run, and so when you run your map, you will not have, a, uh, you will not have these partitions, which won't be a huge deal if your map is as small as this is, or not as detailed as this is, but if you're playing a map like Dust Bowl, and that Dust Bowl had a leak or something like that, it would cause the map to run very, very slowly. Uh, no matter if you are, unless you are on like an IBM supercomputer or something like that. So fixing leaks is very important. So what I've done is I've taken this, the map that uh, I've been making in the past couple of tutorials, and I have created a small hole in the map. We don't know where it is yet, uh, and we're going to find it and fix it. So I'm going to compile the map and show you where we get the error. And it's important as you go on become a more experienced mapper that you be able to read this compile log and figure out what exactly it's saying. Okay, so this mess right here, you can tell by all this fine portal side madness, is, is where an error has occurred. And it's trying to find and fix that error and it can't, so it just says screw it, we're going to go on with the program and try to compile as much as we can. And this is the perpetrator right here, this line right here. You can see star 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 leaked, star 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 star, and then it'll tell you the entity that has leaked, that has fallen out of the map because of there's, there's a hole in it. So here is how you find that leak and fix it. So these coordinates are the coordinates of the of the entity that has um, has fallen out. So I'm going to copy this, move that over. Well, yeah. Let's make this smaller now that we've we've read it in some detail, and then go into view, go to coordinates, and then paste the coordinates into this little dialog box, and then hit OK. Uh, that, okay, so that should take you to the offending entity. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, because when it hit me right on, it could be either this filter or this filter, but it doesn't matter, because we see them both, uh, and, I'll, and I'll show you why. Um, one of these entities has leaked out of the map, and this is a, the place to start, because this comes the fun part. We are going to find out how they got out of the map. Go under Map, and then Load Point File. And then at this dialog box, just hit yes. Okay. So if you take a close look at your map, I'm going to get rid of that compile log, in your 2D view and your 3D view, you'll see this red line. The red line is the path that that entity has taken to fall out of the map. Um, I keep using that term, and that's just my term. It's not the official term, fall out. It's the, um, 
the way that the leak has occurred. So if you follow this red line, you should be able to find where the hole in your map is. So we're going to follow the red line, and there it is in the very corner of the map. This is what often happens when you're just beginning, or if you've forgotten something um, to seal off a portion of your map. Your, um, you'll have a hole, and through that hole, no matter how small it is, you can get a leak. So that is the, just that little tiny gap has caused the entire, has really caused the um, the compile process to uh, to uh, fail essentially because we're not going to get the partitions that we want when we want to compile and we're going to have a very uh, terribly unoptimized map. So fixing this is just as simple as sealing that hole. You can either just put a patch over it, you put a uh, you know, the, another block, or try to use the geometry around it to seal it off. So this one's I go here pretty close, and you can see the gap on the 2D view also. And I'm just going to seal up that gap. Okay. So from here, you if you want to get rid of this red line because it's now kind of obsolete, there's no gap here. You just go back under map, unload point file, and then it'll get rid of the point file. Get rid of that red line. And I'm going to save it with that change that we made. Compile again. And we should not have another error if all is well. And check it. Okay, cool. So we don't have any leak errors. Uh, we got a couple other errors, but I'm not going to talk about those just yet. Um, and we can see that our this vviz program has run, which is a great sign. That means our level is being partitioned into viz leaves, which is exactly what a leak would not allow us to do. But since we have fixed that leak, we can do it. And the map is completely run, so this should run fine. And that's how you fix a, find and fix a leak in your map. Anyway, that was pretty short. Um, I hope you, it, you find it helpful, and I will continue to make more tutorials as they come to mind or as people have questions. So keep them coming. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.